Happy Tuesday. It's my favorite day. Welcome back. Okay, so today I am talking to you a little bit about some of my favorite books, like my favorite genre. Uh, it is historical fiction. I love historical fiction. I actually waited to do this until the afternoon because I was going to grab a friend of mine here at school, uh, a sixth grader who loves historical fiction, maybe even more than I do. I don't know if that's possible. I was going to have her do this with me, but I think she wasn't here today because I never saw her. So I'm just going to talk to you about some and we'll just go from there. Okay, so this book is by Jennifer Nielsen and I think that anything by Jennifer Nielsen is fantastic. I have read several of her books and every single one of them I just love, even the ones that are not historical fiction. Uh, Resistance is about a girl who uh, is Polish and she is Jewish and the, the Nazis are now occupying Poland. And so her sister is taken to a death camp. Uh, her brother has disappeared and her parents are just... They've kind of given up hope on on everything because they're just sad and they just feel defeated. Uh, but she has not. This girl has not given up and she is wanting to fight because this is not right. So she joins the resistance and she's a courier. So she goes between these like underground ghettos of Jewish people and she delivers food and uh, documents that they need to, for freedom. And sometimes even people like she saves people. She is risking her life every single day to save people's lives. It, it's a just a suspenseful. It is. It just makes you really think about what you believe in. And you, it makes me admire people who do the right thing, even when it's the hardest, hardest thing to do. But you know it's the right thing to do. So that's Resistance by Jennifer Nielsen. Another one by Jennifer Nielsen that's a uh, um, historical fiction is A Night Divided. So this is about the Berlin Wall and what happens is um, that the, this girl's dad and brother went to find work one day. Um, away. They lived in East Berlin and they just left East Berlin to go find work. And she and her brother and another brother and her mom stayed. And uh, overnight, this wall just started being built. And so when dad came back, uh, he couldn't come across to East Berlin and anybody in East Berlin could not leave to go to West Berlin um, or anywhere uh, because the Soviet, the communist Soviets were taking over East Berlin and they were changing all the rules and it wasn't pleasant. Uh, so they are trying to figure out how to get back together again. Dad wants to help them get out. They just want to be a family again. Um, it's awesome. Awesome. A Night Divided. Inside Out and Back Again. I actually read this over the summer. I've been wanting to read it for a long time. This is one of the large print books. Love it. I love these large print books. Um, but this is about a girl who comes to the United States after the fall of Saigon. So uh, North uh, Korea? No, North Vietnam. North Vietnam uh, and the Viet Cong took over, and they were communist also. They just took over South Vietnam, and South Vietnam ended up surrendering to them. Um, but some people were able to escape from South Vietnam before that happened. Um, so this family comes without their dad. Dad, they, they lost him somewhere along the way. And um, so they come to this new country. They don't speak the language. They have all these traditions that they're used to. They don't understand the culture here. Uh, the people here don't understand their culture, and they're trying to make a new life. And it is challenging, uh, but it's um, it's all from the point of view of this girl who comes to this country and didn't understand anything that was going on here. And I love it. I think I meet people all the time here at my school, and I talk to people who come from other places, and this is a whole new world for them. And I think we don't always pay attention to that and we don't always um, give them the benefit of the doubt that they are just learning every single thing here. So uh, it's a really a good thing to keep our keep us aware of of all of our differences. Uh, it, it was great. I loved it. And it's written in verse. So it's kind of a it's got a rhythm to it. So, you know, I like that, too. I love books written in verse. OK, Wolf Hollow, I just finished a couple nights ago and I um, I already know my friend that I was going to have do this book talk with me. She's going to be the first one to check this out because she's going to love it. This is on my list of favorites, uh, all time favorite books. Wolf Hollow by Lauren Walk. Uh, it takes place during World War II and 
there's a, it's here in the United States and there's a, a new girl in town who is just, she's mean. She's just mean and she's a bully and she's just mean for no reason. And um, she um, is doing some seriously bad things to people and uh, there's a homeless man that lives in the area for, and he's a World War I veteran. And she's kind of pinning all this stuff that's happening on him because he just, nobody understands him. And so they just kind of go along with it. But the, the main character of this book uh, sees the bigger picture. She knows what's going on and she wants the right thing to be done. And this is another book where you, you, you know you need to do the right thing, but it's a really hard thing to do. But it's always, always better to do the right thing. Um, I, I love it. I just absolutely love it. One of my favorites forevermore. Um, so those are some historical fiction books. You guys love historical fiction. I Christopher Paul Curtis writes a lot of great historical fiction. Um, Alan Gratz, of course, he came to our school last year. He writes a lot of great historical fiction. It is never in our library, y'all. Never in the library. You're going to have to put it on hold. And we've got like a bazillion copies of his books. Um, so, uh, if you need historical fiction, we've got lots. Uh, it's super popular. I love it. So, come talk to me about it. Have a great day.